Hey Docker developers, Jack Wallen here to help you make tech work. A Docker volume is a handy way to deploy a container with either persistent storage or to share data between two containers. Think about it. With this handy trick, you could deploy multiple websites that use the same volume housing their data. It's a great feature that helps to give Docker a bit more flexibility. I want to show you how to create and use a Docker volume so you can enjoy simplified data sharing and persistent data with your containers. The first thing you must do is create a new volume. Let's call it shared-data. And the command for this would be docker volume create dash dash name shared dash data. The directory housing that volume on Linux is slash var slash lib slash docker slash volumes. Let's now deploy a Ubuntu container that uses the new volume with the command docker run dash ti dash v shared dash data colon slash shared dash data space Ubuntu. This will land us on the running containers bash prompt where we can then create a file in the shared directory with the command echo double quote hello comma tech republic double quote greater than greater than slash shared dash data slash test dot txt. Exit from that container and stop it with the exit command. Let's now deploy a second container that uses the same volume with the command docker run dash ti dash v shared dash data colon slash shared dash data space Ubuntu. You should see that the new container has the text.txt file that was saved within the volume. Test that with the command cat slash shared dash data slash text dot txt and you should see hello comma tech republic. Congratulations, you just created your first Docker volume that can be used for any number of containers. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.